this is maybe going to get me in trouble. Okay. Oh, good. We love... Uh, With the government. Oh, oh. even better. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Jesus. Hi, Jarvis. Hey, how's it We got Jarvis. Jarvis everybody. Johnson, hey. everyone. I'm waving to you now. Hello. Hello. Do like do your best friends call you JJ? No. Jarvi? I've I've gotten these. I've gotten Jarvi, I've gotten Jarv, JJ. Ha, ha, has any like Australian person called you Jarvo? I've never gotten Jarvo. Jarvo. That was that, that was British. That sounds more. I've English. never gotten Jarvo. There we um, go. That's Australian. Uh, I have gotten Jar Jar Banks. Oh, oh, you love that one, don't you? I. Mm, it was rough <laughs> in elementary school. Let me tell you. Oh, they called you Jar Jar Banks back then. Oh yeah, the movie was out. Yeah. yeah. But and fortunately, like, you were mm. you were out of high school before Iron Man and Jarvis came out, right? No, I was in high school. <laughs> okay, so then was that a thing? Yo, it's still a thing. But yeah. that was cooler than Jar Jar Banks. Cooler than Jar Jar Banks, you know, I actually credit Iron Man for making people pronounce my name correctly. Oh. Because. What I think was Yarvis. Yeah, Yarvis. <laughs> Yarvis. <laughs> Yarvis. Or Harvis. Uh, no, but I would get Travis. People just don't read. Oh, they just hear it and they're yeah, like, I they think it's Travis. Yeah, hey, nice to meet you, I'm Jarvis. Travis? Travis. I've even gotten Travis in emails where my name is in the email. Oh, yeah, they're like, they're like, there must have been a typo in that. That's like yeah, how people call a address. smoosh. Yeah, which doesn't. Yeah, they'll <laughs> write it. They'll like write it to us even. Dear Smoosh, I've been a fan for so long. But anyway, I'm used to seeing you in your thumbnails that pop up. And yeah. what yes. is all over the homepage? All over the homepage with your thumbnails. And uh, we have a, a few props that I want to bring out to celebrate um, the well, to character. Make you, to make you feel comfortable. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. I was feeling uncomfortable. Yes. So I'm glad you guys are. Right, let's get you in the thumbnail uh, Ooh. mood right here. So, Ooh. yeah. We got. Um, yep, thank you. Thank you all so thank much. Thank you. Um, yes. So we, we we notice your thumbnails. You you like to put the yellow text. Got to do the yellow on text on there. <laughs> One of the cameras just looks like Ian says toilet version. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> mine runs into yours, oh. so they just see cross toilet version. That's virgin. <laughs> that's, no. that's a different kind of virgin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah. That, well, that's what happens before you get potty trained. Yes, yes. Right. Well, we could, we could put that behind. Maybe we could put that kind of like. Oh, really? You don't want to be toilet behind. virgin? We could put that behind him, maybe. Oh, see, put uh, virgin is fine, but toilet virgin yeah, is a little yeah, much. Yeah, I like virgin. Oh, I like that. That's good. But toilet virgin, not so much. Okay. Um, do you feel more comfortable now? Do, Does it feel yeah, like you're in your great. thumbnail? I gotta give like a face where I'm like, I don't know what this is about. Yeah, let's all do the... I feel like ever, I would do, be do you ever, angry. Do you ever do, no, this is this is Philip DeFranco. Uh, you know, you, you do that? so many faces, and so there probably exists one of me doing that. You know who I really respect is the people who pick one face and then they just use it for over, over and over oh. again? That's cool. Yeah. I, I'm trying to get on that level. Okay. Makes it easier. Yeah, or at least record every possible expression I've ever had. And then you just have one to go to forever? Right, exactly, yeah. Just yeah. use Jarvis 56, and then that's, yep. oh, okay, that means something to It's me. like a shade on the spectrum. Like right, It goes exactly. from happy to sad to angry. You right. know, it's somewhere in there. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. You could just like take the same photo and always just Photoshop it to be a different expression every time. You know what's funny? I did recently, this is maybe gonna get me in trouble. Okay. Oh, good, we love. Uh, With the government. Oh, oh. even better. I recently took my own passport photo, yeah. and uh, in the passport photo, I used like a, a big light, like a big softbox light, and you could see the light brightly reflected in my eyes. And so I, uh, I photoshopped it out, and I didn't tell the government. So technically, oh. I have a photoshopped passport photo. Whoa! But only if you zoom into my. All right, feds, get them. Whoa! Get me. We brought the FBI. Guilty. Here today. And that you've actually special, you've traveled to other countries with that photoshopped. Well, not yet. Oh. And maybe never. Oh. oh, well, after this, it won't happen. Yeah, it won't happen. I'm you should show everybody your your passport. You should show. The oh yeah, just passport. like with the number and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just cause. So, Jarvis Johnson, two million subs, and two hundred forty-four million views on the Jarvis Johnson channel. True. But that's not the only one, cause now you got this Jarvis Johnson gold account that I've been seeing you post a lot more on. I've been posting a lot lately. On it. Yeah. Uh, that's almost out of milli subs. I know. It's getting and close. And 887 million views. Hey, we're getting there. Hey, shout out. Shout out. Does it make you nervous whenever a channel starts to creep up on a million subs? Because you're like, oh, it's it's legit now. It's now. I know. You know what's weird? Get that it, gold play button. I don't care too much about subscriber numbers. 
which is good. Sure. But I probably still think too much about like v view numbers on videos. Mm. But subscribers, it's like, it just always goes up. It's like a pedometer, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's just like a, the it's a record of the journey traveled. But that's really just the me that's bad at celebrating my accomplishments. Oh. Right. So it's like, why, why shouldn't I be excited? So then you look at the views where it's always up and down. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> you can I, never feel satisfied. I can never feel satisfied. <laughs> I can never feel content or safe. Yeah. And uh, and that's good. Totally that's good. what you want. It's good for YouTube well, because you keep working. Right. Yeah. They keep you on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least at least you got a fallback because like if all this YouTube stuff like goes away, you you literally had an actual like real life big boy career. That's true. Before all of this, That's you were true. a software engineer. Some would call yeah. you nerdy boy. Some some would some, say. Some. some would say. Yeah, I'm. Um, I, as time goes on, I'm my skills there are atrophying. You know, okay. I'm not doing software engineering every day. So do you want to do some here? Yeah, if you guys could, I don't know, roll out a whiteboard and maybe we could keep some, you on your toes, a, like a design document. We could talk mm -hmm. about building a product. Yeah, how yeah. we could support it on the back end. Well, also that technology is advancing so quickly that it's, it's not true. just a matter of flexing those muscles with what you know, you literally have to keep up to date. And uh, it's it's going into the rear view mirror. Very quickly. true. It is. It is. I, tr I thankfully think I have a decent like fundamental background so I could like pick up a new skill, but I don't want to have to. Yeah. Sounds hard. You just want to be an entertainer now. Yeah. I just want to, I just want to laugh. Speaking of which, let's go back to one of your very first videos. Yeah. Uh, it's not your first it's video. It's not your first video your because we went, we went back to your channel and we did see that, um, your first two videos were you dancing to High School Musical? So so there's a few videos that have also been deleted because my YouTube username, so you guys will remember this. Mm. YouTube's like user uh, accounts have changed many times over the years. And yeah. so there used to be like youtube.com slash user slash whatever. And so when I made uh, my current YouTube account, I was, I created it to post videos of me playing RuneScape the medieval Whoa. clicking game. Shit. <laughs> you don't need to explain RuneScape. Really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. medieval clicking game. Yeah, and- uh, I've never heard it described. <laughs> the <way>. medieval <laughs> clicking fun, game. Fun, fun way right. to describe it. Yeah, and so my account name on that was, uh, it was a PKing account, uh, which is where you do PVP, player killing, as it's called. Mm. It's called V Sympathy V, because you remember like XX, you know, oh, something yeah. name XX, yeah. like very MySpace and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. So I was like V sympathy V because I was like, oh, wow. I have sympathy for you. Oh, and I re released a PK video, which is me killing other players. It was called No Sympathy Number Four. Did you have like drowning pools bodies playing in the background? I had Ludacris's slap. Okay. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. But yeah, it would have otherwise been like crawling in my skin. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so then after that high school musical, so I got rid of all those videos. It's a video of me doing high school musical dance, high school musical two, work this out. Okay. That was like the first video that popped off and that's referenced in this video that we're about to watch. Oh great. And then after that, the only other thing I made was this a meme. Like if, I don't know if you remember the, uh, it's a, it's an old meme for, uh, called get done or get down. And it's this Japanese like J-pop song where it's like they say get down and then it's like dun, 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 and it, you see your characters like uh, <gasps> jumping around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's yeah, based yeah, yeah. off of a GoldenEye 64. Yep, I saw the GoldenEye glitch. Yeah, yeah. where mm. if you pull the cartridge halfway out, they go the, char the characters on screen like move oh. around. And so people turn that into a meme. It's very millennial humor. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I did one of those, uh, but then many many years passed and I became an adult. And uh, this is the first video that I made when I was like working at Patreon as a software engineer, working with creators. And I was like, you know what? I'm finally gonna make that YouTube channel. Yeah. I've always thought about making. And make something serious yeah. rather oh, than- it's gonna be so serious. <laughs> Let's see how serious you go. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I love these, like, obviously you went around, you're like, okay, I'm gonna cut there. Oh, dude, I was, go to the I was watching so much, like, my YouTube diet at this point in time, like, I hadn't watched much YouTube, like, current YouTubers, because this is, like, uh, 2016, 2017, 2017, yeah. Oh, but it wow. feels very, like, 
2007. Right, because that was my, I was like watching like Vlogbrothers videos. That's what I'd watched maybe the most of on YouTube. And then like I'd also watch Nathan Zed. You'll see they're referenced in this in this video or like Wheezy Waiter. Shout out to like some mm, of the OGs. Yeah. And so it's definitely got that vibe to it. Something is missing. Uh, yep. Okay. All your biggest inspirations. Mm -hmm. I needed a bookshelf. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know what it was zooming in on. I know. Oh. It was an oh. illustration of a joke. Yep. Well, bro, you Me read. Here, whatever I make is I hate this so much. Like really bad. Not, Not even like. like were you jumping around like K take? I was in a. I was in my office chair. And so I was yeah. rolling. Oh was like, yeah. Oh. But that was the style of it. You've like. It you was script, so you had to script this out then. This is all scripted. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I still remember it and hate it. <laughs> Everything well, I make is gonna suck. Not like Michael Jackson bad or The Room bad, but like Green Lantern bad. Like a lot of people. Spend a lot of time or whatever to make something, and it it's still bad. But that's kind of the point. <laughs> it's like super. I so we're gonna are we gonna see that? We're gonna see exactly verbatim. what I just described. Jackson bad or the room bad, <laughs> like Green Lantern, Lantern bad. bad. Like a lot a of lot people, people spent a lot, a lot of money of on this, you. and they tried their best, tried and it was best. still really bad. But that's, that's kind, kind of, of the point. point. <laughs> But that's kind of <laughs> so right. scripted to a T. It's so I love it. So, but How do you remember that's like that's like people that remember a song from like. But this is this ago. is his like, first yeah. video after what ten years of yeah, and also it. just like I've uh, I don't know what it is. I, I went back years later to look at the footage for this because I still have it. Okay, and mm. it's just like the raw. Raw footage uh, with like the wheel scooting uh, between dude, each yeah. shot. My my roommate playing like COD in the next room, <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm trying to like record in between him going. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying slurs. Yeah, Kyle! <laughs> Kyle, I'm recording my new career. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be bad, like Green Lantern, <laughs> Green Lantern bad. bad. I'm talking about my fear of living up to expectations, Kyle. Oh man, I love that this is exactly what every video around this time was like though. Highly scripted, <laughs> highly calculated. This was like, it was like this, but then also, um, I do think this is more like a time capsule, but because this was the time of like Logan and Paul vlogs mm. and like like diss track like music video diss oh, tracks wow. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't a part of that because I was like a little tuned out of that world. Because you were a nerdy boy. Too busy being a nerd. You can see all the board games behind me. Yeah, Catan, Catan, uh, Risk. Go. Yeah, ri you had to have Risk. One of my biggest fears as a human is not living up to other people's expectations of me. And I don't know where that comes from. I'm one of those kids who had to be good at everything they try on the first try. And if I was bad, I would throw a fit. You know, you know like, like shitty people. <laughs> In adulthood, I've been better about my outward reactions to these types of things, but inside, I still just shut down. It's like my brand as a person has become never make a mistake or show weakness ever. I've been working on this in various aspects of my life so far, and one Goes place to select once. behind is cool. Dude, literally, this is like, it's, it's, you know you're like finding your voice uh, yeah. creatively and it's so funny because I, I'm so much more comfortable like expressing myself on camera now. Yeah. And here it was so scripted and so prepared and I didn't know what I was doing and I was like over sincere. It was like so strange. I didn't know like what exactly I was going for. Yeah. yeah. Cause I was like, this, this is very vulnerable. Yeah. But it's also like kind of wild to me to think that you wrote this all beforehand. So it's like. It's kind of not vulnerable in that sense because it's so so planned. It's like yeah. so prepared. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I wouldn't know that watching this. I, I, I'm i watching this, I'm like, I'm like, wow, this is like, this is very vulnerable, especially mm -hmm. for like a first video. Yeah, but it's like, I think that that's, the thing I had to get off my chest was this video, like the presentation of it is a little cringy to me. Uh, and there are even more cringy parts to come. But, <laughs> and you know those. those and I know, and I know those. I had to get this off my chest because I still have it now, but I push past it where it's like, you think your next video is going to be a flop, so you don't like want to do it. Or, or like if you don't think you're going to do well at something, it's easier to not even try rather right. than, you know. So you wanted to kind of like, I mean, laying down that first step is the most difficult part of mm -hmm. any journey. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you had to get this out. In yeah, order to make yeah, anything else. Yeah, exactly. And and I do believe in like making the you know, there's like the 
story about the clay pots and like how this like teacher I don't know if it's real but it's like a aphorism or whatever teacher splits their their um, class of pottery into two halves one half spends the entire semester making a clay pot the other half makes one every single day and at the end of it the people who made a bunch of shitty pots but made a lot of pots make the better pots and the people mm-hmm. who just like perfected one over the whole semester uh, no i see that and so like that's the whole concept is like going through the process of like scripting editing like like making a video over and over and over again you get better at the skill of doing it definitely and i just had to get I, I had to get the shitty one out, even though it's like has good things to say. I think it's still from a construction standpoint, like maybe not how I would do it today. Well, let's continue right. the shitty pot. I've even made YouTube videos before, a few of them, but they were all like eight years ago, like this one from High School Musical. I uploaded it like ten years ago, and then I just stopped. I, I, that's you. Time, yeah, that is me. Whoa. And then the timing of stopped with the. I remember I was doing this in iMovie, which this is the only video I edited in iMovie. Um, but I remember I need the time stopped with the removal of the graphic as if I thought I was doing something. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Whoa. Art. A hot high school musical dance video to drop. I know the choreography to three to this day. That's true. We're not going to test me on that though, right? Jesus Christ. There it is. It's not like that video didn't do well. At least it was oh, a half second. Was that all in this together? Yeah. Yeah, and that was all this together. YouTube viewership has grown a bunch right in the last 10 years, so... Adjusting for inflation, let's just say that's like 50 billion views. Watch, Watch outside. outside. When I was afraid of <laughs> after putting out a so successful much. but really stupid video was not being able to top it. I used to see following up an albeit unexpectedly popular thing with an unpopular thing as a failure. To make matters worse, this video has continued to follow me in life. It's come up in job interviews, on dates. What's funny is that this video has now continued to follow you through. Which I think is okay. <laughs> I, I think that... <laughs> You know, as much as this makes me cringe, I do think that it, given the fact that I like went on to make a bunch more videos after this, and that's kind of like me calling my shot at the end of it, at the end of this video, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm a, I, I can live with it. And I yeah. can live with the High School Musical video too. Like, um, it is still very sort of true to my person, you know, <laughs> I still yeah. do know the High School Musical choreography. The Jarvis brand. Uh, yeah, it's a part of the brand. <laughs> Two truths and a lie. I've also been on Japanese TV and I'm a published poet. Yep, with the whisper. And every time it's a harsh reminder of that fear of failure. And so nowadays when I put things- Time change. Voice, yeah, time yeah, change. Yeah, very different time of day. Different day. Was it really a different day? I think so. Cool, there was this whole period- I Oh, now it's back to day one. I think mm. I needed to reshoot something. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. This is this is an instance of it's so funny to me that I think this video is like five six minutes long, and it took me like so long to film it. And like oh, yeah. now it's like I'll do you know on my main channel an equivalent like twenty minute video that's like scripted takes less time. Yeah, uh, that's just you know. And now your gold channel you could those just you pop them out, but yeah, because you're actually recording the the gold stuff live. Yeah, usually I'm recording on stream. I'm usually recording for like an hour and a half and I cut it down to like 15 minutes. Right. So I make sure I have like enough like good. But it's funny to think that like of this kid doing that, like you, I don't think you'd be able to hang with that pressure of doing it live. True, true, yeah. Or I think that, you know, one of the things that came less natural to me always was scripting and then performing my own stuff that I wrote. Mm -hmm. So. I'd say this is like more unnatural to me, but something that I wanted to get better at. Mm -hmm. But you were you were inspired to do commentary videos after Drew Gooden, right? Yeah. So after this, I so I I made a few videos like this, um, and then I started making like software videos because one of my friends started doing that, and then those videos blew up, and I was like, oh, this is like a way to get views. And I wanted people to view all of the stuff that I had made. So I was like, oh, well, at least I'll get some people in the door doing like tech videos, talking about stuff I know. But that wasn't creatively satisfying to me. And then I saw uh, some videos from Drew, like sort of early on in his YouTube, like YouTube time, because he made this video that was like a five subscriber special that came out when he hit 100,000 subscribers because he like grew so fast on the platform. <laughs> and uh, I remember seeing some of those videos like sort of early on and going, oh yeah, this is just, this is just stand up or these are just mm, jokes. Yeah. But, um, but you're, 
instead of telling a joke about airplane food where everyone's like been on an airplane, hopefully, uh, and knows that the food isn't great, you're showing someone something and then like getting to share and a laugh about that thing. And I'm like, oh, that seems fun. That seems like more, yeah. more but fun. But it's harder like when you actually like tr- yeah. put it to practice. You're like, oh, yeah, gosh. yeah. Well, let's make our way through the rest of this clay pot. Masterpiece. Lead it. So when you look back at that part of my life, it seems like I'm knocking it out of the park, but really there was a bunch of failures or what I saw as failures that I yanked from public consumption. Like I didn't want to be caught trying if I wasn't also succeeding. Here's the thing though, like optimizing for public consumption is completely counterproductive. In addition to being completely paralyzing, it furthers this false narrative like a that I'm cooler or more interesting a, than I actually yeah. am because I try to hide the parts of me that I don't think resonate with other people. I'm coming to terms with the fact that you know, we cannot be our authentic selves online inherently because once you record it or once you put something to Awareness of it being perceived changes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Awareness of being perceived uh, changes. So I was like trying to figure that out because I'm talking about like tweeting and deleting essentially, which is something I still do. Yeah. But, um, But in that mind, I was like, I'm not being authentic. Unless yeah. you keep it up forever. Unless I keep it up forever or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, and, and, and you both know me in real life. Like, off camera, I'm, I'm really cool. Uh, yeah, it's on, like when really the camera's on, translate. I'm not my authentic self. I'm very yeah. silly and goofy. Well, you're but, trying to be more relatable. But like, but, but like when you see me like in, in real life, you're like, damn, that guy's, like, guy's real. Yeah, the yeah. amount of accessories that this man wears is just like mind boggling. I got two man bags. This guy yeah. f- with the word virgin behind you is very funny. Though. Yeah, well, this is, this is, you know, this is not my authentic self. This is self, his character. Right. right. He's, character. He plays a virgin yeah. just yeah. for Smosh videos and yeah. public consumption. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but otherwise, so I resonate deeply with this. Yes. And so this is a little uh, three, three part joke about how uh, I, I can't talk about the things I really want to talk about or something. I don't know, because it's yeah. literally, it's stupid. Rule of threes, though, at least. I got that going. And yeah. you read it in your comedy book. Yeah, Upright Citizens Brigade oh. Comedy Impro- Improvisation Manual. All right, let's see it. Game and improv scenes. Y'all don't want to talk about the importance of racial representation in Hamilton? Y'all don't want to talk about the weird lack of surnames in the world of Dragon Ball? So here I am. I love putting things out into the world, but most of the time I'm paralyzed by my fear of not living up to expectations, and knowing I'll have that fear has caged my creativity in a lot of ways. So what do I do? I went to VidCon this year, and one of my most unexpected takeaways was from Nick Jenkins, a producer on Crash Course. He said that the reason that publishing is so scary is because for most people, it's a rare event. The way they get you over that hump in film school is by having you produce projects so frequently that it just becomes normal. So that's what I'm trying to do here. The way I like that's to think fair. of it is like the way how out babies to think of it. Like <laughs> whatsoever, but still don't give a shit Take what you think about them. Babies <laughs> try things they've never done before all the time. Crawling, walking. Being a boss. Being a boss. I hate this. So <laughs> for trying well, you threw in boss like baby. That's kind of throw in boss baby. So regardless Still a meme. of how this video performs, there's going to be another one. It's just, it's just baby, baby steps. steps. Uh, I know it's cheesy. I'm if sorry. You're watching this, it means that is kind of my brand, out, though. which is pretty big for me. But it also Ooh, means is this your outro? Awesome. Thanks so much. Got the for lo-fi hip hop. Like okay. Yeah, this is um, Canals by Joe Kim Karud. Nice, Jarvis. I'm gonna try and put more regular content out there. Uh, I'm going to Japan next week, so hopefully there are some travel vlogs in my uh, future. Did you do Ooh. travel vlogs? Yeah, I did. I made two videos about Japan. Oh. Um, and they're they're kind of the same. It's literally just like me walking around and going, this really makes me think about the meaning of life. <laughs> I think it's interesting though because what you put out there, you followed through with. Yeah, l- lucked out there. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy if I'm being honest because uh, at that point, it's just like a hobby. And in my head, I'm like, the top subscribers I'll ever reach is like 10,000 and that would be cool. It'd be cool to have like a little internet hobby, mm-hmm. but obviously I have this like career going and I never thought of there being a point where I would change careers essentially. Yeah. Like that wasn't on the table here. Cause I, it's just like, I like YouTube. So I wanted to like be a part of that. And so yeah. I feel like I met you right when you left your job. Possibly. Yeah. Cause that was February of 2019. Was this, uh, was your most new video here? The five minute crafts video. Was that, Was this made before or after you quit your job? Before, so a lot of my most viewed videos actually were before I quit because I took a really long time to quit because it was like, 
do I really want to do this? I can't. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not like I was, like, working a job that I didn't care about deeply. Yeah. It was, like, the last 10 years of my life up to that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And, and so truly it wasn't until I was starting to have thoughts about taking a break to do YouTube that it became like, okay, what if I took a permanent break from right. thing Or to see if that was even possible. But this video is actually, there's a lot of things that are like, f things I internalize as failure. Um, and this was one of them. When this video came out, it like was my lowest performing video for like six months. Or okay. one of my lowest performing and videos. Which is crazy, because now. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. now it has 10 million views. <laughs> true, um, true. One of the things of note was that um, after you had uploaded this, a few months later, Cody Co uploaded a five minutes cra five minute yeah. crafts video, and then that blew up. And then, well, so Cody Co's video was just like it didn't blow up independently. Cody Co was just a big successful creator. Yeah, got the it. fact that like a big successful creator had talked about the same topic that I had talked about. Yeah, I was also like doing the nerdy shit of like watching all of those videos about the YouTube algorithm and trying to like, uh, reading articles and trying to understand yeah, your software how it worked. Yeah, and I kept hearing that, you, that YouTube is always testing your videos with different audiences. And so I would change around the titles and thumbnails of videos. I'd done it on a lot of videos, but when I changed it on this one, it had like a more substantial effect, which being it got picked up by the algorithm and got like 2 million views in a weekend. Do you remember what the original name was? The original title of the video was the worst software, wait, the worst software engineering advice I've ever seen. <laughs> the original title of the video was the worst life hacks I've ever seen because the it was the sequel to the worst software engineering advice I've mm. ever seen. And in my mind, at that point, life hack was like a term for, yeah. like it was like if we were talking about self-improvement, it was like yeah. kind of a neighbor to that. So I didn't even think about it as life hack now when we think of it as something stupid. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, no one says life hack earnestly anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think the title was bad, but when I changed it to Five Minute Crafts is the worst channel on YouTube, one, a much stronger statement, two, includes the name Five Minute Crafts. Yeah. Yeah. And the title of Cody Ko's video was just Five Minute Crafts. Mm. Yeah. And so I think that like there were, I still to this day don't know if like, what the overlap is between that Cody Co video and my video, but there was something something to changing it, or or even a call out of something that a lot of people had seen but didn't know what the deal was. Yeah, like I think at least there's like an understanding of this like five minute crafts thing. So it was like yeah. attaching like a brand name to, mm -hmm. to a title. Yeah. Could could have And at the that. time of this video, Five Minute Crafts had fifteen million subscribers, mm -hmm. which is a lot, but then it went on to get like eighty million subscribers and they have like a hundred channels and like yeah. hundreds of millions of subscribers. And then they've like fallen off since because mm -hmm. uh the content farm formula is like Damn, they fell off. The meta's changed. They fell off pretty, pretty hard. Actually. Well, let's let's, let's check take this a look. out. Let's take a little look. See, uh, someone would say Jarvis's claim to fame. All right, true. Let's, let's see. Uh, okay, so we've got some putty. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put some school glue and some coloring. At the strong choice of the full profile for the opening shot. Yeah. Put it on our laptops. What was the purpose of that? Now, how does that make you feel? It's just that the keyboard was already clean in the first place. Ah, okay, that's our time for today. So after making that last video, I think I accidentally found the worst channel on YouTube. Let me show you. Um, wrong tab. It's called Five Minute Crafts. I do love Got that. Em. I do love that you have the thing. I did have 15,000 subscribers when that video came out. Yeah, that is crazy. Kind of fun. I also love that you're like, I found this channel. Yeah. It's got 16 million subs. Like. Yeah. But you know what? Not a lot of people had talked about it at that time. It had a video with 181 reason. million views. Because the views, the views. But it was like children that were. Yeah, watching. it's like children and. And like international like, views. Yeah, it's like a weird audience. Yeah. But they did have like these videos popping off. But like, it's one of those things that like no one's ever, it's like TikTok, right? You see a lot of viral TikToks, but you never think like, where did this come from? Yeah. And, and this is kind of like the YouTube version of that, where it would be, if you watch YouTube for long enough, you would get like recommended one of these videos on your sidebar. Yeah. And that's kind of what they were, that was their bread and butter at the time. It just doesn't happen the same way. Like the algorithms changed and. That's true. The algorithm just loved this title format of like with a number and then some yeah. crazy statement. And it's yeah. all a lie. It's like yeah, every yeah. single one of the hacks. What's funny is the video like nowadays, 
I cannot feign surprise about this stuff, but at this point in time, I was genuinely surprised. <laughs> yeah. I was genuinely surprised that it said 42 Holy Grail hacks and there weren't 42 of them. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it was like, it was like, si- uh, 30 student hacks, but then in the middle of it, it would like jump to like a clothing hack or something because they just had all these clips that they were just like mixing and matching. Oh, together. so they just made a shit ton of clips and then, and then compilation just, video. It almost felt like an algorithm had compiled yeah. randomly. It felt like AI, right? Yeah, well, it kind of did. And, did. Also, yeah. and also at this time, there was there was already like kind of a YouTube meta for like yeah. being a successful YouTube channel. But these kind of operated outside of that meta that we all understood. Right. So it was very confusing and frustrating. Yeah. For us to be and like, there were real backlash from real crafts channels that were like, now I feel like my suggested videos are getting kind of co-opted by this yeah. crafts thing. Wow. And two out of the top three here are just using an eraser on stuff to yeah to clean your teeth. I want to I know how to fix my my uh, broken screen. iPhone with with an eraser. <laughs> I, that that, that thumbnail though should go down in history as like one of the goats. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I mean, two hundred million views on a nothing video. Yeah. It's pretty goaded. Yeah. Uh, let's see what you had to say. Million subscribers, which is like three million since that last video. They post three videos a day. I guess this was mid blow up for them. A compilation yeah. Compilation of short clips a list theme, and every single one of them has a ridiculous clickbait thumbnail. I mean, look at these. Erasing a cracked phone with an eraser. I'm so surprised. I never just thought about a content farm before. Eggs, yeah. Making an iPhone with a glue gun, apparently. They range from mildly helpful to dangerous at best. <laughs> no, <laughs> what the f- need to hire this Photoshop artist. Their videos all look like compilations. Yeah, that long like egg. Instagram I want to try long eggs. Long egg. all square and none Now it's like it would just track his AI. Oh. Yeah, yeah wow. true. They have 48 million followers on Facebook and almost 14 million more on Instagram. It really does seem like a content farm. Like this channel must be printing money. I actually totally forgot about them until I saw this thumbnail in my YouTube home feed and I couldn't resist. 30 household oh, packs. Yeah. Make- this is so funny. I got recommended that video and I was at the Patreon office after hours and people were just like kind of f-ing around like about to leave. I brought some people over to my desk and I was like, look at this. And we were just wa- watching these videos and going, that does it, Co- that's not real. Like we were yeah. all just like laughing at it because genuinely our brains hadn't been broken by yeah. just like the shit on the internet. You're desensitized that that. I'm so desensitized. I stopped <laughs> doing this content because like, I would many times would try to, cause you know, you have a sex- successful video, you wanna like go back to that well and see if there's still, you know, water there. And I would watch the videos and I would feel nothing. Cause like yeah. there'd be nothing, like I can't feign it's surprise. It's not shocking to see fake videos anymore. No, no. And, and I had just burned into my brain all of the most outrageous, and at that point, outrageous stuff. And so I was like, okay, well, this is just clearly Nothing. So but strange. it's funny to go back to a time when I was like genuinely like, can you guys believe? Yeah. Yeah. They have so many followers, and this is so. You're like, it's like a, it's like a content it's like farm. A, if I were to use a term to describe it, <laughs> yeah. a content farm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay. we're ironing a shirt, and uh, oh, y- you know when you're ironing a shirt, and then the color from the shirt starts to bleed <laughs> off. In the what? Yard? That's not a normal thing that happens. <laughs> Wouldn't it smear against the white lettering on this t-shirt? Like this seems totally what? staged. What the f- All right, so we've this got our totally dirty staged. iron, and now it seems to not be dirty with what was originally on it, but we're gonna put some toothpaste on a sponge <laughs> and what? rub it. It seems like any liquid would have cleaned that off, especially with that sponge. All right, so this is the kind of stuff that we're working with here. Toothpaste, again? Like, I understand you Did run you out of things. This? Who has yeah. all- You script you saying toothpaste again? I know. Toothpaste, yeah. and comma, I needed, again? And I needed multiple cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I tell you a real toothpaste hack that does work, though? Is you using it on your teeth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was putting up a, a mirror, and uh, one hole was, like, totally off on the side. And I was like, Ooh. oh, shit, when I got up, there's a big hole there. I don't want to go out and get some kind of, I don't know, like spackle or, spackle or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a little toothpaste in there. Hey. hole. Can't even barely I mean, tell. Hey, a five minute craft is right twice a day. That's what I always say. Yeah. True. Yeah. This toothpaste lying around. Okay, so this is a normal thing that happens. You you crack an egg uh-huh. and you spill a little bit of the egg on the table, and then you <laughs> what? Is that sugar? Spill a bunch of salt on it and then clean it up. You could have just wiped it up. What? Yeah, why would you mean? Yeah. It's oh, like no. 
that 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 is apparently a real hack. They just put way too much salt down. Okay. Uh, I think it's to make it like so that you can wipe it up. It like binds the egg. Yeah, maybe? or something. Oh, it makes it like sticky. Like, cause it's like if you try to wipe an egg, sometimes it does run a little bit more. But they do such a bad job of illustrating the problem, like where they even break the egg. I'm now just realizing this. The situation is, you know when you crack an egg and then On give the up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you give up before you open the egg. Oh, you're like, oh, oh dang it! Whatever. And then you're like, oh, this egg is leaking. It, it kind of feels like they're essentially just like doing the first part of an old infomercial. In yes. The black and white. It is 100% yeah. the old infomercial thing. Yeah. Where it's like, has this happened to you? And it's yeah. like shaking up like a two liter bottle and then it sprays all over their face. Yeah. They're like, oh no. Oh no. Okay, sandwich. They're gonna make a grilled cheese with an iron. No! <laughs> that actually seems- You have for grilled cheese, but you don't have a kitchen. I feel like but you- But you do have an iron. Why like would it- How doable. would it- I feel like you could do that. Yeah, I but feel like did, that's- and, That's and, a good hotel. And, and guess what, I will. I did it. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I oh, I okay. But I feel like that's a good hotel hack. I was gonna yeah. say though, I feel like you would only toast the outside of the bread, not the inside. We'll see, we'll anyway. see. Are you in a hotel room? Are you in a motel room? Who does this help? This doesn't even seem Hotel like room, work. motel room is a, I wrote I'm that. Try Another ludicrous joke. <laughs> Here we go. Got my chill, chill lo-fi, uh, chill hot beats. This is gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Tell my mom I love her. Actually, I don't think it's gonna heat the inside though. This is like if Casey Neistat did a commentary. It totally feels yeah. like Casey Neistat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty hot. I think it's gonna work. It's I not. Think it's, I think it's gonna work. Why would it work? See, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We did something. Moment of truth. Now you need to flip it though. You need to flip yeah, it you and do the it. other side. I don't okay. know why I ate it like it was gonna hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I did oh, like the, it's like a SpongeBob right. bit. I really should have toasted the other side. Yeah. You know. Did it actually melt the inside cheese though? Uh, yeah. Oh! Yeah. It works. Spraying a mirror with it. With Sprite? Sprite? With sugar? And That's, no. Ants. No, I'm sorry, no. Do you want ants? That's how you get ants. Experiment with nice. activated carbon. Nice, yeah. Okay, Coke. Put your activated carbon in the Oh, car. the other thing is that I- For four days? This was so funny to me, because I was like, you said it's five minute crafts. Uh, oh, yeah. And, it, yeah. and in my head still, I'm like, they're not telling the truth at all. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. Him. It's such a funny thing now, because obviously everything is a lie um, online, yeah, but- sure. Yeah. Except for me, when I spend a day with people, full day. Full day. Full I just day. I only cut it down to the to the one and just the best moments. Yes. yes. <laughs> the best moments just happen to be. Yeah, but I really the camera out. is rolling for twenty four hours. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's in an empty room. Yeah. <laughs> but it is rolling. Wow! It's been discolored. Now, now that's a household hack that'll make my life a whole lot easier. better. Oh. You know, <laughs> when you easy. have kids to entertain and they're in the mood for a very slow science experiment. Okay, so now we're gonna watch. 42 holy grail hacks that will save you a fortune. Yeah, I want to see how to fix your phone. most popular video and has like 179 million Probably like 250 views. at so, this point. So it's got to be good, right? Probably a billion. It's got to be good. I don't, I think it kind of died out. I, I, I'm i going to guess 300. Lego. Actually, we got to see now. How many I'm views I'm, I'm does look. 42? I think it peaked and then the, the channel has been on a downward slope since then, so. It'd be nuts if it had a billion views, though. I just don't think it ever crossed a billion. That video was coming for a what, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? My guess is 343 million. My guess is 580 million. They changed the thumbnail. Oh, that's crazy. Well, I guess now it's a famous thumbnail, so you got it's clickbait, I guess. Yeah, it's bad now. Um, it's now called Forty Two Holy Grail Hacks That Will Save You a Fortune. Okay, I think that's that is old. Oh, so, yeah. okay, and uh, it has two hundred eighty-five million. Oh. Oh great! Now you have a shitty magnet. <laughs> All right, how to erase permanent marker? So permanent that's what the thumbnail like is now. now. Oh, it's that? that? It's that thing. Yeah. Ding. We're using toothpaste again. Oh, yeah. Man, toothpaste could do so what? much. Oh, no. A frowny face. On and what is that? Okay. Alcohol. Okay. Baking soda. Baking soda. Lemon, lemon juice. juice. Toothbrush for good measure. Gotta have a toothbrush. Bro, that's not... I mean... What? Okay, so that's they washed it. No! Uh, no, that's the shirt before they even <laughs> drew it. <laughs> oh, here we oh, go. Here we go. This looks like my best interview. I used to wear this shirt called Best Interviewer Shirt. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I interview people, it looked exactly like that. 
Okay. Oh, here we go. All right. I feel like they just didn't give you enough instructions to ever repeat anything they were doing. Yeah. Ew. All right. Ew. But for content, I had to show it. <laughs> this is my old San Francisco apartment. I moved out with three Feels roommates San Francisco. who were not home. Hair. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Damn, he got me there. I thought that was a pretty good joke. That, that you got good. me. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. It did Four nothing? Like yeah. Fork I, I do think I did something wrong. Fork and spoon ideas. But still, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's watch these fork and spoon ideas. You know there's some good content here. Doing enough I'll say it. This video is still entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, this is good. <laughs> what? What? I think I just I think I just figured out for who Five Minute Crafts is for. It's for people that are just stoned out of their minds. Yeah, honestly, it's like, fun. You're like, what is that? It is. There's fun. no way. I kind of want to have There's a party no way. where instead of crafts. putting like a black and white old movie on, like for the yeah. vibes, you I put on like Five Minute Crafts. I would actually honestly, watch it. Yeah. I would probably yeah because they have I, ten hour compilations. Yeah, yeah, I would probably be totally down for that. Uh, stoned party watching Five Minute Crafts compilations for hours. Five Minute Crafts Bingo. Yeah. Sponsor us Ooh, Five Minute Crafts. Five Minute Crafts Bingo is good. I know. I, I've been looking for a new bingo game to play. Maybe oh, I'll try to Because Dar Darman's out. Darman's out. I need to figure yeah. out like an ethically comfortable <laughs> way to and now that he like he like fired a bunch of his uh staff for striking. And so it like isn't fun to like yeah. goof on yeah, it. Yeah, too real. I think Five yeah. Minute Crafts so will be evergreen. That's true. Until they I mean it is I think there's something to what kind of things are they doing now that they're not getting any views? Are they going to try anything different or are they just riding the ship into the, you know, into the probably. sunset? I think they're just letting it die. Yeah. Because it's, again, it's probably lowest possible production cost. Underwear drawers are like the wild west of wardrobes. There's no rhyme or reason to them. Anything goes. You've got pairs from three birthdays and two Christmas ago, pairs from five different brands with five different fits. And when you open that drawer every morning, you have no idea what to expect. Now that I've felt the buttery soft comfort of MeUndies, my other pairs have got to go. Because MeUndies is all I reach for. I'm hooked and I honestly feel off if I try to wear anything else. My personal go-to is the Feel Free Boxer Brief. It's super soft, pinch-free waistband, makes me forget that I'm even wearing undies. With various colors and fun expressive prints, I can have a different vibe every day of the week. MeUndies' signature fabric is as soft as a warm hug from your favorite sweater. It's breathable, stretchy, and oh so comfy, making it ideal for all day wear. Not happy with your first pair of undies? Don't sweat it. It's on MeUndies. Get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash flashback. That's MeUndies.com slash flashback for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies, comfort from the outside. Ew. Running a company comes with a lot of unexpected costs, and after buying back Smosh, I made it a priority of mine to be more aware of my expenses. At the end of a busy week, the last thing I want to do is spend time budgeting all of my expenses or tracking down customer service teams to cancel old subscriptions I no longer use. But now, I use Rocket Money, and it does all that for me. It helped me find subscriptions I forgot I had signed up for and cancel a streaming service I don't use. Now I can use that money on things I actually want, like making dope music videos. I bet you have subscriptions you forgot about too. Fitness apps, delivery services, maybe some dating apps you don't actually use. What are you all doing? Let Rocket Money help you. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. They can even try to get you a refund for months of wasted money, all with the tap of a button. No customer service call necessary. Thank goodness. No phone calls. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. So stop wasting your money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash smosh. That's rocketmoney.com slash smosh. Rocketmoney.com slash smosh. Now back to flashback. Yeah, exactly. Jesus, how do you even get into this situation? Who would need this? 
All right. Canned food party. Is this like some sort of survival? Yeah, that was situation? a joke joke with no punchline. <laughs> Have you ever watched one of your videos like this with a group of people before? No. How does it feel? Um, fine. I, 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 because I'm out of, it's like an out of body experience. I'm like, that's yeah. not me. Because it doesn't feel like it's you anymore. Yeah. I guess not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if it was something from a week ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at those San Francisco arch, those, those uh, doorways. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing? I thought it was funny that it had um, a pull tab. Oh, yeah. yeah that's that good. The land, you know you could just the tab, right? I didn't need to sell it, uh, spell it out thanks. though. Also, we just ordered pizza. <laughs> that pizza was good. Can you turn <laughs> the light back off? Oh, what this is, is a strange oh, choice. Oh, a balloon. Because there's no pillow. sound. Oh. oh. A no. I like messed up the <laughs> no. audio or something. No. What? It's just Money a pillow. Money safety tips for travelers. This seems useful. N never mind. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, how are we supposed to get the money out of the soap? In case you were curious, the comments Tweezers, of I guess. videos are kind of sad. Okay, so it's like when you're out and you have a bar of soap and someone breaks into your bag trying right. to get money and yeah. they're like, what is this I bar of soap? soap? Yeah. Yeah. Like, soap? What are you trying to say? And then when you're trying to go pay for your stuff, then you just get out your bar of soap, you get your tweezers, you right. pull the money out. And they go, sir, what are you doing? And mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a second. I've got a little magic trick for you. Pretty brilliant. Like so I, I hide all my money in, in my grooming products. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, though putting putting $100 in your shampoo was not your wisest decision. Well, you know, it, you say that, but I've never been robbed, so. <laughs> okay. That's true. I might have... A hundred dollars drilled into this shoe. Yeah, you wouldn't even know it's it. Like a secret compartment, like those old desks for like medieval kings. Yeah, yeah. And when when Ian was mugged at gunpoint, they mm -hmm. checked him out, and they're like, "Well, this guy's got no money," and they let him go. Yep, they didn't he, check my ass. All he's got is a bunch of soap. Yep, when a bunch yep. of soap. In Very my clean ass. guy in his butt. He had had yeah. thousands of dollars hidden in soap in his ass. We call that we call that the double envelope. Yeah, oh yeah, we do call that the double envelope. Yeah. Look up the double envelope on Wikipedia, and it's a picture of your butt. He's got picture the cleanest, richest ass. Money in soap in the rectum. But you've never had a clean rectum. Can I have forty likes for my birthday? Oh, this guy gets it. <sighs> okay, maybe I'm just not in the target <laughs> demographic. Please, please, stop hacking my life. I'm so, so funny. Are you gonna tell him or should I? All right, this is gonna be the last one. 30 student hacks you'd wish you'd know. It's pretty okay. brilliant. Click. It looks smart. We've all been in that, you know, situation that only exists in a simple <laughs> Yeah, for real. That's <laughs> never been done before. And I can't for the life of me figure out how to have fun with them. Okay, that's not how you sit. Oh, what are they gonna do? Are this is, gonna it's do so funny. Wait, that one looks like it might work though. This is funny because I'm um, it's so scripted. I'm like, that's not how you sit. What are you gonna do? That's kind of awesome. It does look like it would work though. Yeah. That was the first one where they actually showed it work and the full process. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh when you have a mug. When you want a mug. Drink from the water bottle that you already had. What? Yeah, for Why real. Do you need a mug. Again. So thing Dude, they, they got something. Recycling hacks so they can keep posting. Was it the same video or a different video? Different, different video, video. Different video. Sometimes they'll reshoot the exact same hack. But this is with corn. Oh. True, it is with corn. You know, three 20 minute videos a day is ridiculous. I mean, I have to thank Five Minute Crafts because if it wasn't for their videos, I wouldn't have gotten the most ridiculous YouTube comment ever. Like, I showed a lot of the comments about the putty from the last video, but I saved this one for the end. I almost developed a tiny bit of respect for you until I saw the five minute crafts part. Obviously, you either didn't read the title of the video or just decided to be a deliberate jackass. The title of the video. 20 tips if you spend your life in front of a computer. <laughs> yeah, that totally explains it. I'm talking about the part where they use the green gel to clean a keyboard. For a software green? engineer, you're pretty juvenile. <laughs> This is a comedy YouTube channel. Guess those are the perks of being a pretty I was in denial at that point. I was like, software engineering? Guys, it, it's, we're joking here. So what if I'm talking about software engineering? Relax, it's comedy. All right, can't you tell it's about comedy? Yeah. I'm gonna say I rock. So that would just be whatever on its own, but then he commented this on a different video. That green gel thing is used to clean a keyboard. 
At least read the title of the video you're watching, you dumb idiot. What is the title that he's talking about? <laughs> like, how could someone be so upset by this silly video? Ballistic gelatin. Wait a sec. Gelatin? Putty. I'm learning Premiere. Is, is he the putty itself? Okay. Let's go. Dude, you almost got shut down there at the end, though. That was, yeah, that was rough. You really took some risks with this, feds, that one. Yeah, really came feds are coming for you. Yeah. Well, that's your yeah. most watched video. Yeah. I will be, I, that was very entertaining though, for real. I'm glad it was. I, yeah. I, I've actually watched it back in, you know, it's probably since maybe two months after I made it. But um, you know what, I'll allow it. I think yeah. it still holds up in many ways. Yeah, honestly. it's funny because it's like, yeah, it holds, I, yeah, I think the content holds up. The actual commentary, it's like, there's some parts where it's a little forced and it's funny to get wound up about some of the things I'm finding interesting, but it's just uh -huh. a, I've just changed in terms yeah. of like, I've had different experiences. It's a React style video. Yeah. So it's like, even if like time hasn't been the kindest to some of the jokes, we're still like reacting to this like True. thing together. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. A lot of what you did here like you've honed in on and refined and right. that's, stuff. That's, and, I think, it yeah. feels like this is like the blueprint for what it Right, became. it is definitely the blueprint. Cause then there's a lot of things, okay, I don't like that, I don't like that, let me improve upon that. Let me make the bad version of that, mm. you know. We, uh, we like to end the show with, with a very important question. Well, we have another, we have nothing after that, but we have a very important question for you. Yeah, we have and a question. That question is, are, are you, you happy? happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Seriously, are you happy? Are you happy? To answer that question honestly, I am. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you're another one of those. I'm okay. Still figuring you know it what? Out. I think I think respect. Ha respect. happiness for me is like it's all about the like I feel very um I feel very lucky to pursue my curiosity as a career right now like I have had enough opportunities that I've like been able to be like, hey, I wanna get into this and see if I can make a name for myself in this industry. And then I literally like said, wait, what if I did something else? And then like that worked out also. Yeah, and, and you do the same with your other channels too. Like true. you've been continuously trying out something new yeah. and finding success in it. Yeah. In that pursuit, I don't know what it's the pursuit of, cause I'm not like, Pursuit of uh, happiness. It, pursuit of happiness. I think it is the pursuit of happiness, to be honest, because I'm I'm never going to be like a, a Mr. Beast type. It's like even when I, you know, look at my numbers and stuff like that. If I just look at the numbers, then I'm like a middle tier YouTuber, you know. Uh, yeah. But I like to think that it's beyond that, and the journey is like more than that. And um, I'm still on this journey to find myself. Mm. Like and, and figure out like what it is, what, what life do I want to make for myself? And I still don't know the answers to those questions, but like the ability to pursue it in the way that is interesting to me is a, um, a privilege that I have that I'm like super grateful for. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like it is so easy to get caught up in your numbers and thinking that success is only based on like where you rank and things like that. But if yeah. your definition of success is constantly f being in that pursuit of happiness, then you are always successful. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, working at Patreon like helped me with that a bit because you would see creators who had the option to do things more mainstream and decided mm. to do them more independently and stuff yeah. like that. And you realize that not the pursuit of everything isn't for everyone. Yeah. Like some yeah. people don't just want to be the biggest, baddest thing in the land. Yeah. Some people just want to like do their thing with the people they care about. Yeah. I think it's common for people to be like, oh, it's about being the best. Yeah. Well, and yeah, and especially and having with, like, the most. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you saw a lot of like Patreon like musicians where it's like Patreon like allowed them to remain independent. Right. And you know, you always hear of like people that sign to like major labels and it's an absolute nightmare, but you're sold that like that dream of like, you know, we're gonna make you a star, kid. Exactly, yeah. And and I even remember some of the first calls I had with like MCNs and stuff mm -hmm. when I was taking the calls like in Patreon conference rooms, like yeah. and they're like, We're not saying we're gonna blow you the heck up, but and I'm like, yeah. So you're not saying that? And they're like, No, we're not saying that at all. We we have no power and we can't really do that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean like that must have been that it's kind of funny, like just you just so happen to be 
at a good job to kind of give you that perspective of like, ooh, like what do you want to make? Like, and that was kind of on purpose a little bit because oh. uh, once I paid off my student loans, which was the thing I was also like very fortunate to be in a career where like I made money out of college, like I made decent money out of college and I could actually like, you know, it's like so expensive to get a college degree, but it was like I was able to like, you know, it was worth it for me. And uh, going to Patreon was the, that was the the soul pick. It was like the, mm. what do I want to, because I could go make way more money, make way more guaranteed money at, at like socialmediawebsite.com. At socialmediawebsite.com where they pay you like hand over fist and it's great until it's not. But, but I was like, okay, I have some comfort. I can actually choose to like work at a startup because it's risky to work at a startup because you, you know, uh, there's less guarantees with, with everything but there's more impact. And I was like, I want to grow my skills and I want to be working on something that I feel passionate about and it w w be serving a community of creators that I felt passionate about. And that was like my thing. It's like, I loved, you know, it's like I would have never found out about Patreon if it wasn't for Subbable and I would have found out for, about mm -hmm. Subbable if it wasn't for like watching Hank and John Green like back in the day. So it's like, it kind of, everything kind of converged. Uh, yeah, you were constantly being exposed to people who were following their dreams and maybe weren't considered the most popular or maybe the most forward-facing successful, but they were still following their passions. And right, and could live interesting lives and yeah. feel like it's satisfied or internally like um, mm -hmm. at peace, hopefully. Right, so that's more where you're at. I think, I, it's where I'm trying to be. You yeah. know, it's like I have bad days. Okay, yeah. but you know. Well, so. we have a little gift for you. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Before we leave, we wanted to we wanted to give you a gift. Mm-hmm. Um, there you go. So feel free to open it now. I wrapped it myself. You can um, tell. Probably my best wrapping job so far. Oh yeah. No, I was gonna say it's really good. Thank you. There's like a little piece of hair. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's my hair. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh no, that yeah. Okay. Keep that too if you want. Consider it a second present. Okay, I'm just gonna rip this thing up. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't oh. be precious with it. I was gonna reuse that, but okay. Yeah, so we're gonna give you five minutes. I'm gonna start a timer here. We got a five minute timer going, and um, there there might be some tools that you can use in here. Yeah. So now, yeah. Let the record show they used a power tool in the video. Mm. Okay. Okay. It's like a well, what's in that? What's it in that? So good. What's in that box? Can though? you describe what's oh. going on here? Okay. So we've got we've got I've got to open up this box of Dove Min Plus Care, <laughs> uh, and then we've got a spoon. Uh, this is one of those spoons that's uh, plant made, so it's like not good at anything, but uh. we use it because it makes us feel good about ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of uh, like bobby pins. Okay. And oh, it's there's just... no money. No, oh, really? Oh. Wait, what's it? Oh. Hmm. Huh. oh it's just, wait a second. Oh, it's just a bar of soap. Okay, well, you wait got four minutes second. left. There's, wait, hold on. There's, <laughs> wait a second. There might have be. Huh. What are you doing? No, no, this is just normal. This is how I. <laughs> what are you doing? This I was, is how I get clean, guys. So this is like you're out on a trip, oh. and. <laughs> oh, oh is I'm gonna rip it. There? There's there's money in here. I believe. Why, why would there be money why, in why there? Would there be, that's soap. That's just a no, innocent bar of soap. Clean money. This is not what money laundering is, by the way. It seems like someone got confused. Oh really? Oh. 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 Well. Hmm. You got, three, this, this, you got three minutes, 30 seconds left. It is actually, I'm starting to understand why there's ASMR videos of people. Um... What's in there? <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> what What are you doing? My God. Is he allowed to do that? This brute this strength. strength. We, we, sir, we gave you soap and you just tore it apart. Yeah, I had a feeling since I had a hole in it, I'd be able to break it in half to reveal. What is <gasps> that? Two interlocking $5 <laughs> Wow, and you did that in wow. less than two yeah. minutes. That's my David Blaine trick. Five minute wow. crafts, they don't come and got it. nothing on Jarvis. It smells so good. Yeah? It's gonna be the best smelling I'm money. I'm starting to understand why people do like fun, like do videos with soap and stuff, because it's like kind of a cool vibe. Yeah, that could like, be your next channel. And look at that, if someone were to have- I inhaled it. If someone were to try to, to rob you while you were out on your trip, yep. they wouldn't have gotten it, but you get home, yeah, that's you got ten dollars. That's true, but now I'm gonna break open every single bar of soap that I see. You never know you what's in there. Yeah. yeah, you should. It's like a video game. You should just break every box, yeah. break every pot. Everything's a loot box. I never know. <laughs> I never know what you're gonna find. That's actually gonna be my next product. I'm gonna sell bars of soap. It'll either be full of money or razor blades. Ooh. And it's so it's kind of like a bean boozled kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know which one you're gonna get. But you're supposed you to use to, it. Just yeah. Like you break it open really fast. Or you just use it on your body until yeah, you, you figure it out. Yeah. 
Jarvis, thank you so much for coming on. What? Where can these Where can people find lovely you? people find you? You know, uh, you can find me on the internet at Jarvis in most places, and I love the record show I've had at Jarvis on Twitter for a very long time. Yeah, not uh, Travis. <laughs> not not Travis. Um, but, you know, a lot of the vulnerability that came from that first video, Baby Steps, uh, I do still, we do still have it, because I have a podcast called Sad Boys. It's a podcast about feelings and other things mm -hmm. also. And um, you can check that out on YouTube as well, or Spotify or whatever, by typing in Sad Boys with a Z. I do it with my good friend Jordan Adika, and uh, that's one of the new things that it also started around this time, but no one listened to it back then. So, <laughs> so uh, here we are. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, thank you. Make sure thank to check you. that out. And if you are a Smosh member, you can go on the Smosh Discord, AKA the Smosh Chord. Make sure to submit your theme song for Flashback, because yeah. we're going to play one right now. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. What's it all about? Watching millennials check there. Old stuff out, but wait a minute, this is hella funny. Flashback with Smosh tells the tale, the tale of Ian and Anthony. The best friends there'll ever be, Ian and Anthony. If you love something, set it free. <laughs>